Well, this weekend the British School are hosting a Fabicia con uh, conference. Uh, it's a great privilege to be able to host that. It's a great honour for the school, but I also think it's very good for Phuket. It would be really good if Phuket became a centre for educational conferences like this. Um, everything is here, the infrastructure is here, so it's something that we hope we'll build on for the future. We've got 185 teachers here over the weekend, um, eight uh, sponsors, we've got almost 50 workshops. It's going to be a really good weekend of networking, professional development and rest and relaxation. They are the, the life, soul, blood, heart of our schools and they of course contain a vast amount of knowledge and giving them the chance to share their knowledge and also benefit from the inspiration of others is, is absolutely core at our educational purpose. I think it's a great opportunity to share good practice, you know, as part of uh, the Fabicia group, um, to be able to come together and collaborate. Um, networking opportunities wonderful, but also as classroom practitioners, as teachers, to be seen as a valuable part of the Fabicia team. Yeah. This is a really unique opportunity, first one ever, to have uh, almost 200 teachers to get together and share ideas from across through Asia. And, you know, the chance to learn something new from your colleagues is, is going to be greatly enhanced when you can have more um, ideas shared. So um, I think that's a wonderful chance for people to really think about their own practice and reflect on what they want to do to be better in the future. Well, Fibisir effectively is a self-help group. Fibisir is a federation of 52 schools that geographically, largely speaking, are very spread from Mongolia to Jakarta, from South Korea across to India. So to bring teachers together, to get them tapped in, to get them sw um, swapping ideas and swapping connections through Facebook, through email, is a really positive thing. It benefits the children. Well, the message this, this year is uh, being fit for purpose and um, that means are we fit for purpose in what we're delivering in our schools, uh, are we fit for purpose as human beings at the moment with the world in the mess that it's in. So it's uh, very pertinent to the way things are in the world right now. That's just by luck but uh, we always need as educationists, uh, educationalists to uh, consider what it is, what sort of world the, the children that we are educating are going into. So are we fit for that purpose to bring them into the modern world and give them worthwhile lives and the skills necessary to solve the world's problems? The, the title Fit for Purpose is quite deliberate in order to try and help us future-proof both the Federation but also um, our colleagues' professional development, the, the pedagogical skills that we hope they will all bring to the classroom. We're not interested in being average, to be frank. Uh, we aim to be some of the best, not just in Asia, but in the world. And so it's in all of our interests to make sure that we share the best possible practice with our colleagues. Fit for purpose. As a teacher in my own classroom, I have to fit for purpose each, each child that walks into my room and, and for one child the purpose that I have to fit for, for this learner is going to be perhaps a language issue or um, a cultural background issue. Another student ha might have a high degree of challenge that they need, so I took it very personally that how each of my learners in my room, I have to fit a unique educational purpose for them. And um, there's, a, of course, a broader connection to you know, the whole world and all the different cultural elements that we have, but um, as teachers we have that unique perspective to try and fit a purpose for each student in our room and to make sure that their learning is valid and purposeful. Um, I think there is a sense um, that is shared by both uh, students and teachers alike that this planet is broken, that it is not working, it is not in the way it needs to be, and yet so often the question is how do I respond, what do I do as an individual, as a teacher, um, responsible with a group of students, how do I change this world? And really the heart of this, um, of this message and this time is to say that who you are, where you serve, is perhaps the greatest platform from which you can commence engagement with this world, strategically making a difference. And so our, our heart in this conference is to do both programs looking at what is it like for those who are in need and also how then can I respond. And why am I here? Why are we here? Because I believe so deeply in this heart of fit for purpose. Because it's not okay. Neither for us, we, we, we sense it's not okay, but for our students, 
We must be training, equipping them to change, not in a cursory, superficial sense, to radically transform this planet. I was really passionate um, to, to see someone so inspired. We do, as teachers, you're, you're constantly working to help children in the, in the realm of education and to, to see someone equally as inspired who's taking it at a much broader level to work at all the children in the world to look at something so important as you know, poverty in a, on a grand scale. It, it really does remind you about what you're doing and the important work. A lot of times education is the first step if you can try and get kids through education and give them an opportunity to have a better life. Some of those problems that he refers to with parents and families that don't have those opportunities, you can stop. I think we're the first level of that. If we can do that as, as educators, those kids have a good, good chance of having a much better life. You know those feelings that you have, that you wrestle with when you see people in need. Those feelings of um, uh, a, a sympathy, perhaps an empathy, a desire to help, and yet also those same feelings of powerlessness. You think to yourself, why not? I should maybe I can give a bit of money, but it's, it's not going to change his life. Or you look at the Syrian situation, you think, that powerlessness, what do I do in response? I think this conference, sorry to say, is themed around the biggest challenge, which is ensuring that our educational programmes, our pastoral programmes, our enrichment programmes actually do make sure that they are fit for purpose, that they are educating and preparing young people for the futures that they will face, the challenges, the situations they're going to be in, in positions of responsibility, actually making a difference to those around them in leadership positions for the future. So making sure that our schools are fit for purpose. But then any school, in fact any institution, has to do that if it's going to remain healthy. Um, every one of us is connected to um, opportunities. Some of those are the social networks that we have, some of them are the school networks that we have, some of them just our classroom. And the question that I would say is how can we most strategically interconnect who we are as teachers, as uh, headmasters, etc., with these issues so that we're not doing service as a, an add-on, but rather it becomes central to every class, every school, the, the fabric of who we are so that our students leave our school being world changers in here already and understanding their relevance to this planet. What I'd like to, them to take away is something uh, similar to what I said at the start of the conference, that conferences will not give answers to any of the problems. Conferences are here to provoke. So what I want the delegates to take away with them are a lot of questions, questions about themselves, about the world, about what they can do. So really, for me, the central the purpose of this conference is to pose questions and have people take those questions away and reflect on them and then take action. Just amazing, just so, so lucky to be surrounded so. by wonderful people, wonderful colleagues, inspirational keynote speakers, people that genuinely care, people that want to make a difference to the young people that will be the future leaders of this planet. We're just so blessed to be here, to be able to share an amazing experience. Phuket as a conference destination is absolutely perfect. What a draw, what an attraction. We purposefully talked to heads about this date and this conference two years ago to try and synchronise everyone's half term to make sure that the conference was fixed at the beginning of the half term holiday so that folk could fly in for the conference and then go away into beautiful Phuket and enjoy uh, holiday time on the beach with their family because it's absolutely perfect. The school itself, spacious, open, green, um, so we actually hope that they'll host again. That's a well-kept secret at the moment, but this is perfect for us.